Hi everyone, so this is a last um, example on the third lesson. It's quite a big one, so it'll probably take two vids. It's probably like six minutes long, so we're going to go into two vids, so sorry about that. So it says a species of tree is expected to grow to 10 metres in height. Let me change the colour. Uh, the rate of growth is directly proportional to the height it still has to grow. So if you imagine, if it's one metre high, it has nine metres left to go. So we're going to do it as 10 minus its height. So let's have a look at this then. So the rate of growth in per year, so d h by dt, is proportional to 10 minus h. So if I introduce the constant of proportionality, I get that. So that's part A done. Part B says solve it to find a general solution in h in terms of t. So what h equals? Or something with h. Right, so let's split it up then. So h on the left, so 1 over 10 minus h is going to be a log, dh, is k, dt. And just stick the integral signs in front of it. So that's going to be a log. So what I've got is 1. What I want is minus 1 if I differentiate the bottom. So that would be minus log of 10 minus h. And that's equal to kt plus c. Now, I want it in terms of h, um, so I'm just going to switch, kind of switch sides with stuff, really. So log of 10 minus, oops, log of 10 minus h. is minus kt. Really, I should put minus c, but constants are constant whether it's plus or minus. So I'm just going to ignore that bit. And then I'm going to do e, take e of both sides. So it's going to be e to the minus kt plus c. Now this is a bit that we don't like. I think we might have seen it before. But the idea that e to the minus kt plus c is the same if I split it as e to the minus kt times by e to the c. c is a constant, e is a constant. So together it's a constant and I'm going to call it a. So that's a e to the minus kt. So I'm going to change that e to that bit. We see it enough before the exam to be okay with it. Which my a there, so minus kt. There. Does that look right? Should I just rub that out and make it look better? So a e to the minus kt. So a tiny little bit of rearranging just at the end, if my board works. Get the h on its own. So imagine if I took the h over. 10 minus a e to the minus k t is h. And that's your general solution with h in terms of t. So then it says, assume the initial height is 0. So we know when t is 0, h is 0. And then after 2 years, it's 1 metre tall. So t is 2, h is 1. So that will allow me to find the missing constants now. Shall I do it here at the side? Right, so what have we got? Where's my equation? So h is 10 minus a e to the minus kt. So this is part c. So t is nothing, h is nothing. So nothing is 10 minus a e to the nothing. e to the nothing is 1. So I've got 0 is 10 minus a. a is 10. So that's OK. Uh, so h is 10 minus 10 e to the minus kt. And then uh, t is 2, h is 1. So 1 is 10 minus 10 e to the minus 2k. Do some rearranging. So I've got 10 e to the minus 2k is 9. If I take that one over there, take the one over there. Divide through by the 10, take logs of both sides. Now log of 0 0.9 is a negative, so I've got minus a half ln of 0 0.9.